Whether they're assisting law enforcement or helping someone with special needs, man's best friend comes through for humans in a lot of ways. And now Florida is turning to the dogs to help solve an invasive problem. It's fascinating. A new training prog program has been getting a lot of national attention this week. ClickOrlando.com's Brianna Bowles is here to explain Florida's wild weapon python sniffing dogs. Bridget, the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission recently began training two dogs to detect a python scent and alert handlers when they've come across a snake. And they just had their first success. Truman, seen here in this video, found an eight-foot Burmese python in the Rocky Glades public small game hunting area in Miami-Dade County. Now, according to the agency's website, the dogs were trained more than a month before going out into the wild. The FWC has been using python-scented towels and live pythons with surgically implanted trackers to teach the dogs to pick up a snake's scent. And while Burmese pythons have been known to eat small alligators and small deer, Truman and his four-legged partner, Eleanor, are trained to stay about three feet away from the reptiles, so they'll be safe. The training program started because pythons have become one of the biggest invasive species in Florida over the past couple of decades. The invasion was likely caused by owners who released their former pets into the wild, and it's caused quite a boom. It's estimated there are between 100 and 300,000 pythons in the Florida Everglades, and their presence has altered the ecosystem. Since taking office in 2019, Governor Ron DeSantis has brought a lot of attention to Florida's python problem, even helped organize the Python Bowl, a hunting competition held earlier this year. Over the last four years, snake hunters hired by the state captured 6,300 pythons. FWC says 40% of that total was in 2020 alone, and they credit the governor for the increased attention to the problem. So here's something that's interesting, and for some of you, probably not all that appetizing. We won't be seeing this in getting results for dinner. State officials would like to see more Floridians develop a taste for python, not because of their nutritional value, but as another way to increase hunting to control their population. There is a small concern about eating pythons, and that's because the big snakes could be full of mercury. Right now, the Florida Department of Health is working with the FWC Conservation Commission to conduct tissue samples on pythons to determine whether they contain too much mercury for human consumptions. If the levels are safe, get ready for snake and eggs on the dinner menu or the breakfast menu, maybe both. Ugh. For these stories plus information on Florida's Python problem, just head to clickorlando.com. Ladies, how about it? That's not getting results for dinner, no, no ma'am. I'm still stuck on Python scented towels, so that's what all of you are getting for Christmas <laughs> this year. Surprise. <laughs>